Hey everyone, Elizabeth here. I'm excited to share something really important with you today. Today we're tackling a topic close to all of us, slashing expenses and getting our finances in order. I remember when I first started out, I thought I was being careful with money. I tracked my spending, or so I thought. But then I did something scary. I actually looked at my spending in detail. I mean, really looked at it. Ouch! Turns out those daily coffees, snacks and impulse buys were adding up big time. It was shocking to see how much I was spending on non-essentials. It was a wake-up call. I knew I had to take control of my finances. I realized I needed to make a change. I started by listing all my expenses and categorizing them. That's when I decided to get serious about cutting expenses. I looked for ways to save on everyday items and cut out unnecessary spending. Not by living like a monk, but by being smart and intentional about where my money was going. I found joy in budgeting and even made it a fun activity with friends. Number two, enjoy life for less. Now, I'm not saying you need to give up everything you enjoy. Life is meant to be enjoyed and you can still have fun without breaking the bank. It's about finding creative and smart ways to enjoy life while spending less. Think about the joy of a picnic in the park or a potluck dinner with friends. Start by identifying your needs versus your wants. This simple step can make a huge difference in how you manage your finances. Needs are essentials like housing and food. These are the things you can't live without. Wants are things that make life more enjoyable, like entertainment and dining out. These are the extras that add spice to your life. Look for ways to reduce your want spending. This doesn't mean eliminating them entirely, but finding a balance. Could you cook at home more instead of ordering takeout? Home-cooked meals can be healthier and more cost-effective. Maybe swap expensive gym memberships for free workout routines online. There are countless resources available that can help you stay fit without the cost. Small changes add up to big savings. Over time, these adjustments can significantly impact your financial health. You'll be surprised how much you can save without sacrificing your quality of life. Living well on a budget is not only possible, but can also be incredibly rewarding. Number three, it's time for an expense audit. Now it's your turn. Take a hard look at your own spending habits. Be honest with yourself. Ask yourself these tough questions. What expenses can you cut without drastically impacting your life? How often do you review your bank statements and track your spending? What's one expense you could live without for a month and see how it feels? Remember, awareness is key. Drop in the comments below, awareness is key. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. Number four, my money wins, conquering unnecessary spending. In this section, I'll share some practical tips and personal experiences on how I managed to cut down on unnecessary expenses and save more money. One area where I was able to cut back significantly was subscription services. These can really add up without you even noticing. I realized I was paying for multiple streaming services I barely used. It was an eye-opener to see how much I was spending on things I didn't even use regularly. So. I did an audit and cancelled the ones I didn't really need. This simple step saved me a considerable amount of money each month. It felt great to free up that money each month. I could now allocate those funds to more important things like savings or paying off debt. Another area I tackled was impulse purchases. These are often small, but they add up quickly. Now before I buy anything, I take a moment to think it through. I ask myself if I really need it and if it aligns with my financial goals. This habit has made a huge difference in my spending habits. It's amazing how much money you can save by simply being more mindful of your spending. 
By making these small changes, I've been able to save more and feel more in control of my finances. Number five, join the journey. Let's master money together. Drop in the comments below. I master my money and cut on expenses. Slashing your expenses is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort and consistency. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. Imagine the financial freedom you'll experience with less debt and more savings. Don't forget to subscribe for tips on personal finance and entrepreneurship. Let's master our money together.